Welcome everyone to Neverwinter on PC. My name is Reiner and today I'm going to take a closer look at the refinement changes of mod 16. If you enjoyed this video please leave a like and if you would like to see more information or videos about Neverwinter hit the subscribe button. A little bit more positive video this time uh, we're going to look at a buff that's been introduced to the game with mod 16. I am of course talking about the refinement changes and in particular the streak breaker that was added. What is a streak breaker? Well, according to the devs, if you have failed sufficient times, the next refinement attempt is a guaranteed success. So what is sufficient? Sufficient has been set to 150% of the average amount of attempts. To put this in an example, uh, if you have a 10% chance to succeed on an upgrade, you have an average of 10 attempts also, 100 divided by 10, an average of 10 attempts required to upgrade. 150% of 10 is 15. So that means on a 10% chance, your 15th attempt should always succeed. On a 1% chance, to put this also in a, a, a more often used example, uh, on a 1% chance you have an average of 100 attempts, 150% of 100 is 150, so on a 1% you should use no more than 149 preservation wards, because the 150th attempt should always succeed. This, of course, has an effect on the percentages. They're actually now incorrect. Uh, while the chance to succeed on a separate occasion is still the same, it's still the percentage that you see, but the average over time will be affected by the streak breaker. Every time you hit the streak breaker, you're actually getting, uh, yeah, your, your generated luck. Uh, you, you are more lucky than uh, you have a guaranteed success all of a sudden. In order to get an idea how much the percentages are affected, I'm going to upgrade 99 enchantments, and you can see I have a lot here, and 99 enchantments from rank 5 all the way up to rank 40. And that's a lot. Uh, it's going to cost a lot of RP and a lot of reagents, but I should have everything available. Oh, and Sharp, if you're watching, I know this isn't a big enough sample size to be super precise, but 99 is enough for my taste and it will give a decent indication. In order to track everything I'm going to do, uh, I made, well, big surprise, I made a spreadsheet. Uh, on, on this spreadsheet, I can fill in how many attempts were needed for each of the upgrades I'm going to do. So, for example, on 5 to 6, I used one attempt. It will say this attempt was 100% success. Uh, this is max tries, actually, not preservation wards. Max tries. So, it also keeps track for each upgrade how many enchantments in total I uh, upgraded and how many preservation wards I use. So if I fill in the two, I've used one preservation ward, and it will also keep track of the total percentage of all the items I filled in. Um, here are also all of the upgrade percentages, uh, and one thing that to uh, which is to note is that everything is the same except for the rank thirteen to fourteen. This used to be 1% and it has been increased to 2% because of the new upgrade which is now the 1%. This means if you have enchantments to upgrade, wait for mod 16. Actually, wait for mod 16 with every upgrade you want to do. Not just enchantments, not just 13 to 14, which has been doubled in chance, but everything because of this street break. It's going to probably take quite a while to do this test. So one, I'm going to start now. And two, I most likely will speed up some of the video. Uh, so let's start going. Let's refine this. So five to six, let's use wards, upgrade. 
This is also very nice that we have this now. This is actually enabling me to do this because if I had to click every upgrade uh, one by one, it's going to be hell. So here you can see what I'm going to do. It used two attempts, so I fill in. Here I fill in two, which means I had a 50% chance on that upgrade. Then I refine another one. It will automatically put the ward there and I do try until success again. It used one attempt. So let's do this for all the uh, enchantments here. It's going to take a while, but as I said, I will speed up this four attempts. That's not correct. Well, maybe it's rounded up. So if you have 60%, it's 60%, right? It's an average of two. And then multiple, it should be three, right? So why did we use four? Anyway, we're going to also see what the maximum amount of tries is for each upgrade. So let's continue. Okay, that was the last um, of the rank 5 to rank 6. Let's look at our results. Uh, we used a total of 77 preservation wards where I was expecting, I think, 66. Yeah, 66. So we used 11 more um, with a total percentage and percentage of 65.25%. Uh, so a little bit less than a 60%. I was a little bit surprised about the maximum of five tries. It it's maybe because there's a minimum amount of tries on the siege breaker, uh, the siege breaker, the streak breaker. Um, so this streak breaker might actually start coming into play at the 30%, maybe 40%. Here it actually might become visible. On low level upgrades, it doesn't seem to do much. So without further ado, let's continue on the six to seven.
Okay, uh, so that was all of the upgrades to rank 7. Let's look at the results. Uh, we had a maximum tries of 6. Uh, 6 tries. The actual percentage on the enchantments is 50%, point, uh, 50 and the total that I came at is 50.25. So I used a total of 98 enchantments and I was expecting to use 19 uh, preservation wards and I um, was expecting to use 99 so I used one less than expected very close to what it should be the maximum tries interestingly is one higher than from five to six and this actually happened only once I think yeah, it, opened, it, it happened once. The 5 here happened more often, but here the 6 only happened once. So let's continue with the 7 to 8. Okay, everything is rank 8, uh, 3 ranks up done, uh, we have 7 more to go, so we have a long way to go, let's see, um, yeah, pretty much spot on, we were expecting to use 148.5 preservation wards, uh, we used 149 instead of 148.5, which is not possible of course. Uh, but our percentage is really spot on here once again. We use the total of seven tries here. I see a small trend coming. Let's see if it continues. Uh, but at some point we would have to start seeing this street breaker come in. Let's continue with rank eight to nine.
that's all rank 9 done. Uh, let's see what the results are at this point. Let's go all the way back and all the way up. So rank 9, uh, we upgrade 99 chance. We use 233 preservation wards. Uh, the actual percentage for the upgrade is 30% and our uh, percentage in the uh, test was 29.82%. So still no effect of the street breaker as it seems. We're still very close to the actual percentage. 233, how many what I was expecting? 231. Okay, so we used two more than expected. Nothing to uh, write home about. Um, Let's continue with 9 to 10. Okay, first one to go. Let's add in a fresh stack because we're going to use some more. So the last uh, maximum was 8. So we went from 5, 6, 7 to 8. So probably the maximum here will be nine no actually five yeah probably nine but we will see two let's do a couple together two six Okay, everything is level 10 now. Uh, let's look at the results once again. Mm, we used a total of uh, 397, uh, 97, 97, Jesus Christ. We used a total of 397 uh, preservation wards. The actual percentage is 20% and we came to 19.96%, so super close to the 20% again. Uh, I was expecting to use 396 and we used one more. So, again, super close. Max tries went from 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 
And at this 10%, I'm expecting to see the street breaker going into effect. Uh, because here uh, it would be 5 times 1.5 would be 7.5, it's 9. But here it's 15 actually. So if this is going to be 10, I will be very surprised. Uh, anyway, let's test whether we actually have a street breaker and how it's affecting our chances. So that's all to level uh, rank 11 uh, and this one actually showed the street break quite quite significantly. Uh, it wasn't 15, well it was 15 preservation wards but the maximum amount of tries that I saw was 16 um, and that's something you can see here. Um, so the percentage chance was very close with the other percentages and this is what I was expecting. Um, I used a total of 697 preservation wards for the 10 to 11 I was expecting to use. Uh, 10 to 11 I was expecting to use 891. So quite a lot less than what I was expecting and that's because we hit the streak breaker very, very often. So here, here, uh, here, here really really often and this is exactly what i mean it's not 10 percent now it's now actually 12.44 on average and this is a pattern that we will see from all rank ups uh, after rank 10. so before it the streak breaker doesn't really do that much uh, but afterwards it has an effect and we are going to see the effect now for rank 11 to 12.
Okay, everyone, uh, every enchantment at rank rank twelve. Uh, let's see what the results are. Uh, we had a cap of thirty one, which is logical. So thirty one tries, so thirty preservation wards is a five percent. So which means that it's twenty tries on average. 150% of 20 tries is 30 tries, which means the 31st try will always succeed, as acknowledged by the devs. The percentage on the enchantment, so the percentage on the upgrade is 5%, and the actual percentage was actually 6.24% in this test. We used 1488 preservation wards, and I was expecting to use 1881. Uh, so that's almost 400 less than expected for 99 enchantments, of course. And who's going to do that? We already used up uh, 3,139 enchantment uh, preservation wards, so quite a lot. But we're going to burn through a lot more for these last three upgrades. Um, let's start with 12 to 13. <laughs> Okay, so everything is up to rank uh, 30 now. Uh, let's look at the results. The cap now was 51. So that was a streak break after 50 attempts. Um, we always got a success. Uh, 33 times 1.5. Uh, okay, there's a percentage, but it's, uh, yeah, it's rounded, it's 50. So after 50 tries, the next one succeeds. Percentage on the enchantment is 3%. Actual percentage is 4.27. So 
percentage wise significantly more than the three percent that's there uh, in preservation wards is clearer to see 2219 where we were expecting to use 3201 so we saved up almost 1000 wards on upgrading 99 enchantments to rank 30 almost 1000 that's quite a lot uh, for 13 to 14 I'm expecting to be the max try 67 because this is 50 times 1.5 is 75 so 67 or 76 should be the max tries anyway let's go up to the 13 to 14 everything rank 14 that has eaten quite a bit into our stack of preservation wards um, the actual percentage you know, on here is two percent and what we what the percentage on the gems the actual percentage is 2.62 percent so quite a bit more than what the percentage is it only looks like a little bit 0.62 percent but it has a big impact we used 3674 where we were expecting to use 4851 without the uh, street breaker so that's almost 1200 and uh, preservation wards saved there 
The max price, as I said at the start, is 76 uh, because 50%, 50 times 1.5 is 75, so 76 is the max price. Now for the 1%, uh, the max price will be 151 uh, because after 150 tries, it should always proc. Sadly, preservation was only a stack of 99, so this is going to be a little bit of calculation in my head, but I will be okay, I guess. So let's do the last step and see how much of an impact um, this last step makes and what the actual percentage is. So, 14 to 50, here we go.
actually upgraded 99 rank 5 enchantments all the way up to rank 15 in 2 hours and 20 minutes uh, but we also kept statistics so let's look at what the street breaker does for the 1% let's go up so uh, the upgrade percentage says 1% is actually 1.44% so um, almost 50% more than the uh, was well, actually 44% more than the percentage says the max tries is 151 and we uh, had that value very very often as expected uh, so you can only have 51 more than the 100 um, that is the average but you can also have hits of one and we had that a couple of times as well uh, one time at least but a couple very low ones at least so uh, we used 6,775 preservation wars on these 99 enchantments from 14 to 15 and we should have used 9,801 so yeah that's more than 3,000 preservation wards saved because of this 0.44% difference as you can see this makes a big big difference in total for upgrading 99 enchantments from rank 5 to rank 15 we used 15,807 preservation wards that's quite a lot but if we didn't have the street breaker we actually would have used 21,565 so 21,560 or 66 21,566 instead of yeah so that's almost 10 thousand preservation wards saved because of the street breaker so this is actually huge it makes a big big difference one thing to note uh, what's very important is the street breaker actually starts working at the upgrade from rank 10 to rank 11 before that you basically have the same percentages as stated on the uh, enchantments i don't know exactly what happened here i guess this is just not a big enough sample size to get a nice percentage here it wasn't that big off well 11 wards i don't understand what went wrong here but uh, this one is a little bit off the rest is very very accurate and in the end you can see the clear impact of the street breaker one more thing that i want to add to this is that because the percentage is 1.44% and not 1%, coal wards actually seem to have lost their place. Uh, there is no 1% upgrade anymore and coal wards as we know are 100 times more expensive. Um, with a 1.44 divided by 1.44, why is this a percentage? number it can only be 69 times as expensive so if a preservation ward is about 50,000 times this okay the coal ward can only that's not correct times 69 times oh wait Preservation wards are 5,000 each, not 50,000. So a coal ward can only be worth 350k approximately before it gets overtaken by preservation wards. At least the average. Uh, if you want to be lucky and don't want to have the chance that you use 150 preservation wards, then be my guest and use a coal ward. But on average, a coal ward is only worth 350k now which is quite a step down of the 1%. So, having said that, if you have any remarks on this video or any suggestions on what to investigate next, feel free to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.